All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really do appreciate it. Like I mentioned in uh, the last video, if you missed it uh, on my Clutch Masters video, make sure you go check it out. I have a lot of content coming for you guys. So today is going to be an install video, but, but before we get started with that, um, I just want to let you guys in on a little news just in case you missed it. Um, so we're going to be doing this install video. I am going to be getting my clutch installed this Friday. You are going to get content for that. So if you want to see uh, behind the scenes stuff of what's going on, make sure you follow Street Image Performance, their Instagram account. I'll have, the, uh, I'll have their name right here and I'll have their Instagram down in the description. I will be going to them uh, Friday morning. We're going to get started on my clutch install. I'm going to be doing my best to give you guys uh, an install guide, maybe like a how-to the best I can. I am going to be physically working on the car with one of them, so it's going to be cool. We're going to work together. I'm going to learn how to put a clutch in uh, this car. I have installed clutches before, but obviously not on a 10th Gen Civic, so I'm super excited to, uh, to learn about that. So, after we get done uh, with the clutch, we are going to be doing some dyno pulls. Uh, we're going to see what the car makes baseline. Um, not that it's going to be that much difference. We're going to do some pulls. Uh, we're going to do three pulls with the car prior to the clutch, and then we should be able to do three um, dyno pulls uh, after the clutch is installed. And, then, and in the meantime, I am going to try to get the TSP uh, Stage 1 tune. Um, so right now, I'm just running the K-Tuner off the shelf maps. I'd like to do a comparison on numbers uh, with my full bolt-ons on what you can expect with full bolt-ons with the K-Tuner um, K -tuner off the shelf map and then full bolt-ons with the TSP Stage 1 tune. So that's going to be very exciting. So make sure if you haven't already, you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and make sure you leave this video a like. So let's get to uh, unboxing today's install. Do not recommend cutting toward yourself whatsoever. Let's take a look and see what we got here. See if I can do this one handed. It appears to be an epic fail, but I am not going to let it stop me from opening this one handed. You guys just don't understand how hard it is to film one handed and try to open a box. Yes, my favorite. We got a bunch of peanuts. Let's go. Okay, as always, nice swag. Oh, awesome. Got a nice uh, jet tag that will be going on my keychain. Thank you guys so much for sending that out. Looks like we also got some stickers. I do like the new uh, jet tag, so thank you guys for sending that out. And you know, as always, you guys have good packaging. Uh, some people don't really pay attention or care about that stuff, but I actually do care about how well packed um, you know the packages. All right, so let's get to uh, opening this real quick Voila ah. Let's take a look All right, so um, I know I haven't mentioned this yet, but this is going to be the pedal throttle spacer So you have your actual throttle spacer right here and I'll go into details with that in just a second. And then of course you have the new hardware that's supplied with it. I do like how it's color matched to the brand. I think that's pretty awesome. And we have a nice cool sticker. So I have to, I'm going to put that on my little tool crib cart that I just got. So I'm going to sticker that out. All right. So what you have here, as you can see, this is for actual throttle spacer. Um, should be a super simple install. Um, remove three, uh, three bolts from the actual existing uh, pedal. And you're going to remove one uh, one actual clip that's um, for electrical reasons and then these right here are all your different settings so uh, i'm just going to play around which which one i think is going to be best and uh, yeah hopefully i can show you all in the video how the pedal gets moved closer and closer to the brake so the goal is you know when you heel toe you want to be able to hit the brake and hit the gas blurp the gas you know brake blurp brake blurp the gas so let's get straight into the car and let's get this thing on there all right, so just to give you guys a quick look at my dirty floorboard. No, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, it is dirty. But as you can see, I'm going to try my best to get under here. Hopefully this light will do some justice. But as you can see, there are three bolts right there. There's one at the very bottom, one at the top, and one right there. Let me see. So you have one right there, one also right there, and then you have one up here in that corner. And then directly at the very top um there's the plug right there that you have to get off let me see if i can 
get the light to shine just right i doubt it but there is a plug uh right here that you need to disconnect on top of the uh the pedal itself so there i've identified one bolt there's a bolt over the top and there's a bolt also right there and i'm going to try to get a better light i'm going to get a light that actually can sit down and shine up and see if we can get some better uh better uh, video quality all right so this light is a lot a little bit better so like i mentioned there's one right there you need to take off one right there and the one on the bottom you need to take off also like i mentioned uh this clip right here you need to remove the power from that and that's going to allow the pedal to come off so let's get started with that all right so if you're somewhat of a bigger guy like me you are gonna have to get 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 creative and to get that out I had to like slide half my body in and also i had to uh i moved the steering wheel column all the way up move the seat back so once again you're gonna have to get creative but it will come off and then once once you can get comfortable back there she slides right off all right so now we're gonna start removing the three bolts all right yes you guys are gonna have to look at my nice pretty feet all right so here's what i'm talking about look how far the brake pedal is from the gas. I can barely do that and I have like a size 12 foot. So the goal is obviously we're going to bring this pedal closer to here and eliminate this gap right here. See because I can I can barely with the brake pressed down even get close to the gas pedal. So before I finish removing all the bolts I wanted to show you guys. I have two of them removed already. I got one more to remove and also um, just for your reference uh, whenever you take it out, come on, focus. Of course, you're not going to. Come on. It is a 12 millimeter. Let's still focus. There we go. Yep. 12 millimeter, and I did it with an extension. And once again, you are going to have to get creative to get in this uh, this little spot right here. Trust me, it's aggravating me, and it's 100 degrees outside. I'm pouring down sweat. All right, so all three of the 12 millimeter bolts are now off. And boom, just like that, here is your factory pedal for the Tension Civic SI. Well, for all tensions, actually. Super easy. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the throttle spacer on. And, yeah, I'm just going to play around with it off camera and show you which one that I think is the best. I'm probably going to go with the B setting. All right, so the next step of what you're going to want to do is obviously grab your actual spacer. Come down here. And then the way you want to set it up is just how I have it. Um... You want the brand logo to be facing just like that. See, that may be too much light. That's exactly how you want to have it set. Um, and then the next thing, of course, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and take uh, the nuts that you went ahead and pulled off and put those directly back onto the spacer itself. All right, so once you have the, uh, the actual factory bolts back in, this is what the, the actual spacer is going to look like. And as you can see on there, let me see if I can zoom in on it. I'm going to put my actual pedal back on the B, the B right there, the A up top, and then the B on the bottom. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. All right, so the last thing that you need to do is I now have the, uh, let's see if I can get this lighting somewhat okay for you guys. So I now have all of the supplied um, products now in. And if you do have a torque wrench, you want to make sure that those are torqued down to uh, 10 foot-pounds of torque. And then last but not least, you want to go ahead and plug um, go ahead and plug your cable back up. This is my K-tuner wiring. I need to tuck it a little better. All right, so let's get the let's get the actual electronic piece covered back up and put on. Oh, I hate having such big hands sometimes. Alrighty, so get that. Make sure you hear that. You should hear a nice little click. Okay, that's now back on. And I'll now show you what the actual throttle uh, pedal looks like. Alright, so before, um, uh, in the previous video that I showed you guys, there was a lot of distance between the brake pedal and the gas. Now look at this. I can now hit the brake, press the brake, hit the gas, press the brake, boom. I can downshift like that, brake gas brake gas so it definitely definitely brought brought it a lot closer and i love it um you guys are gonna have to forgive me i am super sweaty like i said it's like 100 and something degrees in alabama not really that hot but it's probably like 100 something degrees in my garage since my car's been cooling off since i got off work so the settings that i use are on space b and um 
I am going to do a driving update in a future video along with what I think about the shifter bushing uh, cables that also installed. So in order to tighten the, the supplied hardware, you're going to need a five millimeter um, Allen wrench. That's what I used. And then once again, sorry, excuse me for being out of breath. Um, five millimeter wrench or Allen key, um, 12 millimeter uh, socket and wrench and you'll be good to go. So yeah, that's that. I'm freaking, I can already tell I'm gonna love it. Just the, how much closer the space brought it. Um, yeah, so I'm super stoked that they had brought that to me. Let me get out of the freaking car and get some actual good clean air. So like I mentioned, um, I do have a lot of content coming. The clutch is gonna be installed on Friday and then the next month, um, like I think two weeks into May, I'm going somewhere special. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I'm going somewhere special and getting the uh, getting my big turbo kit uh, installed. So if you think you know where that's at, comment down below. I'm sure some of you do know, some of you may not know, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please leave it a big thumbs up. Also turn on your post notifications, hit that subscribe button. And thanks again for Acuity making some kick beep parts. I love it. I can't wait to uh, get future parts from you guys. Thank you guys so much for sending this out. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace. It's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling.